and I'm seated here with uh, producer Yoshiaki Hirabayashi. Hi. Hi. And, and uh, uh, seated next to him is Miguel Corti, your localization director on the game. That's correct. And uh, over even further, we have Ishiro Sasaki, and he'll be actually playing the game. And there he is. <laughs> Um, so uh, you are going to see some live gameplay of Resident Evil 6 today. I believe we're going to be seeing Leon's campaign. And throughout, while we cut back and forth, we'll be answering your questions. So go to either on GameSpot, ask your questions in the chat there, or you can go to Twitch TV. That's twitch.tv slash GameSpot, and ask your questions, and we'll just go ahead and begin. Okay. Excellent. Um, so one of the first questions is from Ajit3. Um, and he asked, it seems like you're trying to appeal to everyone's tastes by including mm. four different campaigns, each with a different sort of gameplay focus. Do you have a favorite mm. of those campaigns? あの、やっぱり一番気に入ってるシナリオは、あの、僕は個人的にクリスのストーリーが一番気に入ってて。で、ま、どうしてかって言ったら、ホラーな部分は、あの、ま、ちょっと少ない印象を持たれるかもしれ
if the fans really clamor for it, if there's a groundswell of support for remaking that game, then I think that's something Capcom would take under consideration. Okay. Let's take a let's take a look at the screen real fast. Uh, we can only show a limited gameplay uh, due to SAG regulations. So just mm -hmm. to, to let our viewers know that there, you know, we, we have we have limits unfortunately, but we are we are seeing Leon um, engage in some pretty um, gory uh, close up action here. Mm. Um, what is in, in terms of Leon's campaign? Uh, what is what is uh, you know what's what's the kind of mix um, between the the action and maybe the the, the old school survival horror um, gameplay. Ima Leon no gameplay is about to tell you talk about this. Kedo ne ano Leon no shinen ni kanshi wa sono horror no yoso to action no yoso wa dono wariai de kono campaign ni fukumare teru de shou ka. Unto ne action o sono sugoku suki na shito ga Leon o play shita ra. ある程度やっぱりアクションが多くプレイすることはできるんですけどゲームの設計的にはアクションがないと先に進めないっていうような割合は3割から4割ぐらいでどっちかというとホラーテイストでちゃんとリソースマネージメントをしながらゆっくり進んでもらう方が楽しめるようなステージが6割から7割ぐらい用意されてると思ったらいいかなと思います。Okay, for people who just like like straight up action elements in a Resident Evil game, uh, if you do choose Leon's campaign, you can get that in about maybe 30 to 40 percent of the campaign straight up action elements that you need to engage in action in order to progress in the level. But uh, the level is designed around horror elements and uh, especially uh, survival horror in terms of like resource management and things like that. So there's a lot of places where you just have to tread carefully and be sure of where you're going first and make sure you have everything you need before you progress. So those uh, classic survival horror elements would comprise maybe 60 to 70 percent of uh, Leon's campaign. Now, uh, a lot of people want to know, including Meharu, um, how many hours is it going to take to finish the, the game? Mm -hmm. Assuming that he means the, the campaigns in, in their entirety. Mm -hmm. uh, まあ7時間から8時間ぐらいかかってまあ本当にエイダも6時間7時間ぐらいはかかったので一つ一つそのような感じですね。うん。I think、uh, if you just look at them individually, like、uh, Chris, Leon, and Jake, it'd be about seven to eight hours each. Uh, Ada, we're looking about five to six hours.、Uh, my personal best, I, I can do、uh, all four of them in under 30 hours. So, just under 30 hours. So,、uh, that's probably about a good time you're looking at for、uh, beating this game. Okay. Of course, as you said, that's just the straight up campaigns. I mean, if、sure. you add the mercenaries, Agent Hunt, and all the other modes,、uh, it's unlimited. <laughs>、cool. um, all right, so this is coming up a lot Dead Meat 83, tons of other people. So, Jill's very popular. <laughs> and. Everybody want, and, and Dead Meat wants to know、um, when are you just going to show Chris and Jill together finally without sort of messing around with that? Jill の fan が多いで、ね、こういう質問は何回も出てるんですが、あの Jill と Chris がやっと一緒になってる場面はいつ描かれるでしょうか僕もすごく好きなキャラクターなんで、あまり彼女に彼氏をつけたくないんですけれども、<笑>レジェンドイブイレブンぐらいになったら二人は結ばれるんじゃないですかね。<笑> well,、uh, personally, she's one of my favorite characters as well, so、uh, I don't want to actually,、uh, you know, tie a ball and chain around <laughs> myself. But、uh, if we're looking to see、uh, the two of them together in that way, I think we're going to have to wait for Resident Evil, Resident Evil 11 for that. So, we've got a bit of time, I guess, <laughs>、um, before we see that. So,、um, people want to know、uh, if Taz 12, Dave,、um, wants to know what happens.、Um, what if, you know, we, we know that the campaigns are, most of the three of the four campaigns are cooperative,、mm -hmm. um, but what happens if you don't have an online friend? What are your choices?、Mm -hmm. uh, I know. キャンペーンの中で3つはコアアップができるって、うんまあ、存じますけど、うん、で
もしオンラインはできない場合、うん、どうやってプレイすればいいでしょうかえー、っと3つのコープがオンラインができない場合は<笑>、えー、もちろんオフラインでスプリット画面でコーププレイを楽しむことができます。まあ、もちろん一人でプレイする人にはえと非常にあの心強いパートナーの AI が一緒についていくのでそこは別にオフラインオンラインかかわらずコーププレイっていうのの面白みっていうのは体験してもらえるかなと思います。<笑> So, if you're not able to play、uh, those campaigns online,、uh, you can still play locally.、Uh, there'll be a split screen、uh, function available. So, you can play with someone at your house and、uh, still enjoy the co op feature.、Uh, if that's not available to you, you can still play these campaigns.、Uh, we've really fine tuned the AI for them. So,、uh, you can still have the co op experience even though you're playing by yourself. So, it doesn't matter if you're online or offline, you can still get the most out of Resident Evil 6.、Okay. And of course, it's worth noting there's, there's matchmaking as well, so that,、yes. that you, can, you can also pair up with strangers if、mm-hmm. you so choose. まあ、友達じゃなくても、オンラインでは、あの、あの、知らない人とマッチングされる。Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. This is,、uh, this is coming up a lot, too, and、uh, Final Fantasy NDB is, is sort of curious about some of the localization.、Um, uh, sure. Some people pointing out. That、um, the Spanish language option of the game uses、mm. Spain Spanish, European Spanish, as opposed to Latin American Spanish.、Yeah. Um, can, can we expect to see another language option, or what were some of the, the choices behind choosing that particular, um, that particular、uh, brand of Spanish? Localizing is a question. This game 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 is a question. まずあの RE シリーズ本当に最近ようやくいろいろな言語でいろんな人にそのままの言葉で楽しんでもらいたいっていうところにえっとチャレンジしていってますでまだこのチャレンジの途中で本当に始まったばっかりの部分なのでこれからどんどんどんどん今もらったような意見とかも含めて。いろんなランゲージに対応していくような、えーとまあ、検討をしていきたいなと思うんでそれはチームに一回持ち帰って、まあ、こういう意見もあったよっていうところは、えー、と話の、えー、テーブルに上げたいなと思います。思います<笑> So, with the Resident Evil franchise, this is one of the first times where we're really going out of our way to do、uh, full localization, full, fully localized versions of the game. And、uh, that's a constantly developing process, and we're trying to challenge ourselves in new ways to incorporate localization into the game. And so, this is just represents one step along that path. I mean, this no way represents Capcom's final say on what languages we want in the game. And、uh, opinions like this are useful to us. If,、uh, For us,、uh, for right now, we put the European Spanish in, but if there's a clamoring for South American Spanish, that's something that we can discuss with the development team. I can take that back to Capcom Japan, and we can discuss that moving forward. Oh, great. Let's take a, lo- let's take a look at the screen.、Um, I, and obviously, I see some,、uh, some action here, Leon,、uh, and, and a little bit of trouble. <laughs> but、uh, I also see, of course, there's a key down there to,、uh, to collect, and that, and that allows me to.、Uh, To go to another question that, that's coming up, say from Snake8877, is there, is there puzzle solving? What kind of environmental interaction can we expect to have with Resident Evil 6? Now, the game is on the way, so the key is not going to be able to get it. It's not going to be able to get it. It's not going to be able to get it. It's not going to be able to get it. It's not going to be able to get it. It's not going to be able to get it. It's not going to be able to get it. It's not going to be able to get it. It's not going to be able to get it. でパズルにもいろいろ種類があって本当に頭を使った、えー、昔ながらの、えー、っと頭を使ったパズルっていうようなものもあるし今あのレオンのステージとかにはいくつかあるんだけれども体を使ってアクションでそのヒントを自分が気づいてそのヒントを自分のアクションで再現して、えー、っとクリアしていくと例えばもうこれちょっとネタバレになっちゃうんだけど目の前に金,金がねいくつ5つあるんですよ。でこう5つの鐘があってまあ本当に開かなきゃいけない宝箱みたいなのがあってこれどうやったら宝箱が開くんだっていうのはその鐘をどういうふうな鐘,、えー、とその鐘に対してどういうアクションをしたらいいかっていうのを気づいてそれに対してのアクションをしていくと、うん、まあ狙って打つっていう一つの重要な要素もゲームの中にあるんでそこと一緒にミックスして考えてもらうとかそういうようなものも
ありますね。Oh, well, first of all, there's, rest assured, there are a lot of puzzles in Resident Evil 6.、So、if you're a fan of the puzzle elements we've had in previous games, we have them here as well.、Uh, a lot of the puzzles do require some thinking. You have to use your brain on them and try and figure out how to solve them. But there's some that can also be done through uh, just uh, actions in the game themselves.、Uh, this might be giving a little bit away in part of the game, but、uh, you'll come to a section of the game where you'll have these five bells. And you'll have、uh, this treasure chest that needs to be opened. And you have to figure out how to ring the bells in order to open the chest. And、uh, I mean, one of the easiest actions you can form, of course, is shooting the bells. But there's different ways you can get around that. And so that, all、uh, those action elements are incorporated into the puzzles as well. So、uh, there's a lot for you to do and a lot to figure out. Toplink are wondering. So, a while ago, you stated that、uh, you could play the campaigns aside from Ada's, which needs to be unlocked in, in any order, but you suggested starting with Leon's campaign. Do you think that still holds true? Do you sort of see Leon's campaign as the, as the best place to start and maybe even as the, the focus of the,、mm-hmm. of the ongoing story? I know. ヨツのキャンペーンが用意されてるんですけど、うん、でも、エイダのシネリオは、うんまあ、その最初の3つを解除してから。うんプレイできるようになったんですけど、うんうん、で以前のインタビューの時におっしゃったのは、うんうん、レオンのシネリオで始まった方がベストかなっていうふうに答えていただいてるんですけど、うんうん、今でもそういうふうに思ってるでしょうか<笑>あのプロデューサーとしてはレオンのシネリオがこの「バイオシックス」の空軸になってるでしょうか、えー、っともちろん3つのストーリー最初から選べるっていうプランを立ててる以上はこの3つどれからスタートしてもらっても RE6 楽しめるっていうふうには作ってますけれども僕がやっぱりおすすめしているなぜレオンからスタートしてほしいかって言ったら久しぶりにレジェンドイブルでゾンビ戻ってきた姿って早くみんなに見せたかったんですよねなんでそこが一番理由としては大きいしやっぱり今回6っていうナンバーで一番誰か1人をメインの主人公として選んでくださいって言われたらやっぱ僕はレオンだと思ってるっていうのはレオンのストーリーがあの全てではないけれども非常に重要なパートになってるっていうふうなところなんですよって伝えることはできるかなと思います。<笑> Yeah, as you said,、uh, one of the key、uh, features, I think, of Resident Evil 6 is the fact that when you start out, you can choose from any of the three campaigns. And that still holds true. You can choose whichever one you want to play. You don't have to play them in a certain order.、Uh, the reason I probably said start with Leon in the past is just because、uh, we finally brought zombies back to the Resident Evil franchise. And if you want to encounter zombies in this game,、uh, playing Leon's campaign is the quickest way to fight off some zombies. Uh, but as you also said, I, I, I do believe if you had to distill the game's narrative down to one key protagonist, I would say that protagonist would be Leon.、Uh, his story really goes throughout the entire game. Now, his campaign doesn't answer all the questions about the story, it doesn't give you the full、uh, view of what happens in the world of Resident Evil 6, but、uh, what happens in Leon's campaign is pretty integral to out the others. Well, maybe we can look and see what's happening on screen right now. And、uh, maybe that, that allows me to ask a, ask a question of my own while we,、sure. while we watch, which is,、um, it, well, or at least to, just to point this out, that you know, you've got、um, really four individualized stories, but they all s- interconnect and interplay into one larger narrative. How much of that,、uh, you know, how much do you think they're self contained, and how much is left? Um, to needing to play all, all four of them to really put all of the pieces together to understand the, the complete story being told.、Mm. あのその4つキャンペーンはそれぞれのシナリオをプレイするとあのストーリーが成り立ってるでしょうかそれとも全部クリアしないと全部把握できないでしょうか、えっとね、4つを全部クリアしてもらうと本当に100点満点のいろいろな、えー、謎が分かりますけれどもどれか1つをクリアすることでそのこの R6 の中で起こった出来事の中の非常に重要なものはしっかりと理解ができるのでそういう意味では。一つクリアして手に入れられるそのシックスのいろいろなどう言ったらいいんだろうなその満足度とまあ四つっていうのはやっぱ数が違うんで違いますけど一つでも十分あの一個クリアしたことでも得られる満足度っていうのはちゃんと残しているので
こう答えになってるかなちょっとごめんなさい質問がうまくこう理解できてなかったかもしれないけれども。I think、uh, if, you, if you play through all four campaigns, you're going to get 100% of the story. You're going to get everything, learn everything you want to know about Resident Evil 6. But that doesn't mean that we're shortchanging the campaigns if you play them individually. So you play one of the campaigns, you're not going to get the full story, but you're going to get、uh, a piece of what's going on in the RE6 world regarding、uh, the big incident that happens in this game. So each campaign stands on its own, it's a full story. Uh, I, I don't know, I couldn't give you percentage wise to what percentage you're getting with each campaign, but they do stand on their own.、Um, I'm not sure if that gives you the answer you're looking for, but、uh, if you do play them all, you get 100%. You play them individually, they do stand on their own. So,、uh, a, a question coming up with, from、uh, Blue Death King. Since Jake was made, well, th his theory is that Jake was made to bring in new players. And、uh, he wants to know what,、uh, what kind of design choices did you make when creating this character's chapter?、Mm. やっぱりジェイクは多分あのバイオシリーズに馴染みがないユーザーのためのキャラだと思いますけどあのそういう概念であのジェイクのシネリオはどういうふうに開発されたんでしょうか<笑><笑>えっとねもちろんその今までバイオ知らないユーザーの方にえー、とすごく馴染みやすいようなキャラクターが必要だねと思いながらジェイクは作ったんですけれどもやっぱりじゃあジェイクで何が楽しめるかなって言った時にすごくこうバイオを知らない可能性がある人ってホラーがむちゃくちゃこうないと楽しめないっていうよりはいろいろなシチュエーションの中でホラーっていう要素も感じてもらえる方がいいかなとは思ったのでジェイク自体のステージには。結構いろいろなバリエーションに富んだステージが用意されてますなのであの例えば普通に銃撃戦で籠城戦から途端にこうスノーモービルに乗るっていうような一連の流れもあの他のレオンとかクリスとかではあまりあのしたことがなかったようなちょっとバイオと違うかもねって自分らでは感じるところのエッセンスもでも実際に新しいジェイクのキャラクターでやったらハマるかもしれないなっていうような考え方でちょっとずつこうステージを構成してもちろんバイオらしいホラーっていうのはジェイクのストーリーで何が描けるのかっていうところは追いかけられるっていう中で感じる恐怖を一つコンセプトでそこだけはちゃんと譲らないようにしっかりストーリーに組み込んで作ってるっていうような形です。Yeah, as the question states,、uh, Jake was designed with a, a... Resident Evil newbies in mind, if you will.、Uh, so, people who aren't familiar with the franchise, they get,、uh, Jake is their entry point. He's the everyman that gives them a, per a perspective on the story in the game. But、uh, as far as、uh, game design elements go, we want to make sure that we could show off Resident Evil in a light that would be. Acceptable to people who aren't familiar with the franchise. So, one of those things is people might have this vague notion that Resident Evil is a horror series, but they've never actually played a Resident Evil game before. So, how can we show horror elements in Jake's story that would be pleasing to these newcomers? And we didn't want to just have one type of horror and、uh, people would just say, oh, that's what, and just people would just pigeonhole Resident Evil as this type of game. So, we want to place Jake in different types of horrific situations to show. Resident Evil is capable of all these different types of horrible situations, and we can show that with Jake's character. Like,、uh, I mean, there's、uh, traditional horror elements, there's gunfights,、uh, there's even vehicle sections where he's riding on a snowmobile trying to outrun pursuers.、Uh, and so, there's a lot of different situations in Jake's in,、uh, campaign that you won't find in the other three campaigns.、Uh, but one of the guiding features we made sure to have with Jake's campaign is.、Uh, That feeling of dread, that tension of being stalked by this relentless pursuer. That, that's the one part of Jake's campaign that we didn't want to com compromise on. So that pretty much guides Jake's campaign that you're being pursued by this creature throughout his story. But we're also able to place him in different situations throughout. Okay. So、uh, we're, we're starting to wind down.、Uh, we're going to be coming to a close soon, but I'm going to try to, to throw in as, as many other questions as I can before we do that. Sure.、Um, a lot of people asking、um, about the PC version. When、okay. does the PC version come out?、Um, and what, and um, 
a lot of people too wondering, OK, so Resident Evil 5 was great on PC, but Resident Evil 4, maybe not so much. What is the quality of the, of the port that we can expect to have mm. on that platform? I'm going to ask you a question about the PC version, because I don't want to be able to get out of the way. First of all, the PC version is when it's released. And the PC version is when it's released. And the PC version is クオリティはどういうレベルになっているでしょうか。バイオ5の PC 版はすごく評判高いんですけど、バイオ4の PC 版はそんなに良くなかったので、今回の6の PC 版はどういうレベルのクオリティを目指しているでしょうか。そうですね。結構すごく難しい質問ですね。<笑>あの一個ずつ答えていくと。発売日に関しては、えっと、今調整している途中なので、えっと、もう少ししたら、まあ、コンソールももう発売日迎えちゃいますしもうちょっとしたら、えっと、皆さんに、えっと、お伝えできるタイミングが来るんじゃないかなと思ってます、まあ、そういうタイミングを作ろうと、えー、チームの中で話はしてます。All right, first let me answer about uh, the possible release. Uh, I, I know everyone cares about that. When's the PC version coming out? And uh, we're coming up on next week on the, the home console release. So I can just say that in, after that, in the very near future, we will be discussing uh, the release schedule for the PC version. Uh, I have to go back to Japan and just uh, talk with the dev team about that. But uh, I think that's an announcement we can make in the very near future. まだちょっとこうどんな内容になるかっていうところはあの本当にスケジュールと含めてえと調整している途中なのでえと今,今日のこの時点で皆さんにお伝えできることはちょっと難しいなと思います。As far as uh, what content will be available on the PC version, that's something, again, I'm under discussions with the dev team about. So I, I appreciate all the questions about it. I'm sorry I can't give you a straight answer right now. It's just please know we're, we are working on that, and it's just a matter of scheduling uh, that will decide uh, what, when and what we can put on the PC version. Okay, great. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get to one more question before we close things down. But the first thing I wanted to do is say, we've got this signed print. Um, signed by the, the director of the game, executive producer of the game, and uh, you want this. I know you want this. And so, because you want this, you are going to email contests at gamespot.com. Tell us why you're looking forward to Resident Evil 6, and make sure to include your name and your address so that we know where we can send this. Um, and we'll pick the answer that we like best. We'll send this out to you. You know you want this. Mm -hmm. um, Let's take a look one last time at what's going on on the screen. There's a lot of game in the guys on this. And maybe while we, while poor Leon walks up this incredibly dark stairway, um, we can answer one more question, um, which is um, people want to know about. Uh, well, ILN Admi, I just messed up your name entirely. He wants to know a lot, so we'll try to focus on one thing. Mm -hmm. um, will we be in Resident Evil Six? Will be will we be finding weapons? Will we be buying weapons? And uh, how will we be upgrading those weapons? I know, the weapons are in the same way. But in the six, the weapons are in the same way. 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 Uh, first, uh, how you get your hands on the weapons in this game. Uh, you don't purchase them, they're uh, strewn about in the levels, so uh, you have to find them and uh, bring them with you. で、えっと、武器のカスタマイズに関してはえっと、敵を倒すことで手に入れれるので、これを貯めてえっとスキルを購入してもらうという形でそのスキルセットもいろいろな組み合わせをえっと持つことができるので、そこら辺でえっと臨機応変にその場その場で、え、戦いやすいスキルの
a feature of Resident Evil 6. What we have this time is a, a skill point system, and these skills can be used to upgrade you, the player, this time out. And uh, you can use some of these skills to upgrade your weapons. Uh, when you defeat enemies, you'll gather skill points, and you use these points to purchase the different skills. And you can use the skills to, say, make weapons more powerful or have a variety of different effects on the weapons. And uh, you can choose different skill sets to combine and uh, match your playing style. So the way you want to play the game, you can choose skill sets that will match that. So if you are an offensive player, you can choose more weapon-related skills to add to your character. Uh, what's also great about the skills is uh, there you can uh, transfer them between the characters. So the skills you unlock in, say, Leon's campaign are also applicable to Jake's campaign as well. So it's really up to you how you want to play the game, what kind of skills you think you need as you make your way through Resident Evil 6. Well, the bad news is that that means we're uh, bringing to a close mm -hmm. um, our Ask the Questions episode <laughs> uh, for Resident Evil 6. But before we do that, Another reminder to email contests at GameSpot.com so that you can win this incredible signed print. Um, again, you know you want it. Um, make sure to include your, your name, your GameSpot username, and your address so that we can send that out to you. Um, obviously, you want to know more about Resident <laughs> Evil 6. But the good news is you don't have to wait long to find out for yourself. The game is out in North America on... Hatsubai Biwa. Mm -hmm. Yep, October 2nd. Just a little bit more time. Just a little bit more on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Yeah. And PC version to come, as you probably know. <laughs> but, uh, gentlemen, I want to thank you all for joining us here in the GameSpot studios. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having us. And uh, obviously, thanks to all of our, our readers, all of our viewers. And uh, hang out with us. We always have lots of really great video coverage and written coverage. So keep coming back to GameSpot for more on Resident Evil 6, more on lots of other games. And until later, we'll see you around. <laughs>